So in this problem, we're told that the velocity graph of a car accelerating from rest to a speed of 120 kilometers per hour over a period of 30 seconds is shown. Estimate the distance traveled during this period. And says to use m of 6 to get the most precise estimate. Round your answer to two decimal places. So how do we solve this problem? Well, first let's realize that they tell us that we're going to be using uh, the midpoint for this. And it's going to be split into six intervals because um, it's a six right there. So if we split 30 seconds into six intervals, 30 divided by six is going to be five. So the gap in between each of our intervals, or they're going to be stopped at uh, five in between. So we go five, 10, 15, 20. So these are going to be the gaps of each of our, of each of our intervals. And so now what do we want to do? Well, what we want to do is it says use M. So we're going to be using the midpoint of these. So what we want to do is just take the midpoint of each of these. And those are the values that we're going to use. So I just want to take the midpoints of each of these values where I'm drawing the dot at. And so what do we want to do next? So we know that the gap in between, we're going to take the gap in between. So gap in between each of these is 5 because it goes from 0, 5, 10. So 5, and then we're going to multiply 5 by each of the midpoints. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this question, uh, you can't really tell exactly. So you just want to use your make a best guess at this and just try and estimate it. But to me, this first part looks about to be uh, 30. So we're going to do 5 times 30 plus, and then we add all the others. So we're going to e add each of these. So the second one to me looks about, if this is going to be 60, or second one, this one looks to be about 65. So plus 65, and then this one looks to be about, this is 80, it's about 85. So just try your best on these to make your best guess. And this one right here looks to be about 105. And then this one right here looks to be about a little bit less than 120. So do 115. And then plus right here, this one's super close. So 119. And so what you want to do is take this add all, or add all these together and then multiply by 5. For me, when I go ahead and do that, I'm going to get 2,595. So this number right here, what we're going to want to do next is, so this row we got right here is um, kilometers per hour. But what we want to do is turn it into seconds. So how do we convert this to seconds? So imagine this is like uh, in hours. So basically we want to convert um, hours to seconds. So if, let's say, so if for every minute there's going to be 60 seconds. And then for every minute, or for every hour, there's going to be 60 minutes in an hour. So basically, one second is 100, one, uh, one 3,600 uh, of an hour. So basically, what we want to do is take this and multiply it by our number. So we go ahead and do that. We're going to have 2,595 divided by 3,600 because dividing is the same thing because we're multiplying it by 1 over it. So we're just dividing. So 2,595 divided by 3,600. When you do this, you should get 0 0.7208. It says to round to the nearest two decimals. So if we round, this is going to become 0.72. So this is going to be an estimate. Your uh, answer might vary because of your estimates, but as long as you're close, you're going to get it right. So for me, the answer for this is going to be 0 0.72.